welcome all of you to this class on engineering graphics today we will see isometric projection in this class we will see a problem based on a combination of solids the question is over a square prism of base 100 mm and height 50 mm frustum of a sphere of radius 40 mm and height 70 mm is resting centrally draw the isometric projection so, um, here you can see the top view of this uh, square square prism, it is a square of 100 mm side and then height, uh, the, the front view will be a rectangle of height 50 mm and length 100 mm. So, that is the front view and top view. Now, in top view, the frustum of, uh, the frustum of sphere, you can see the frustum, uh, the sphere is having a diameter of 40, uh, radius of 40 mm and uh, it's a frustum so its height is given as 70 mm so when you cut this frustum at a distance of 70 mm from here we can see you can uh, in top view of this sphere you can see two circles one is outermost circle which is of radius 40 mm and another circle also another um, circle you can get in top view so that's a circle of a measurement you, you can see that that circle will be of radius 27 mm so this is the combination of the solid so over the First, over the square prism of base 100 mm and height 50 mm, a frustum of uh, a, a of a sphere of radius 40, 40 mm and height 70 mm is resting centrally with its flat face upwards. Now we are going to draw the isometric projection. To draw the isometric projection of this square, first we will mark a point here, and then from there, uh, this is 100 mm. Edge length is 100 mm, so you mark 100 mm at 30 degrees towards this side, and another edge at 100 mm. Uh, 30 degrees towards this side. Now you can draw parallel lines, uh, pa one line parallel to this line, uh, like this, and another line parallel to this line, like this. You can get that parallelogram. Now height of the object is 50 mm. So each from each corner, if you mark 50 mm, you can get the top one more uh, rectangle or one more square or parallelogram, uh, which uh, this gives the isometric view of the square prism. Now to draw the um, this sphere, uh, frustum of this sphere, first we will draw the locate the, first we locate the centroid of this object, centroid, if you connect this like this, you can get the, on corner to corner, you can get the centroid. Now, from here to here, one more line, that is the centroid. Now, it is given that height is 70 mm, so from here, from this meeting point, we will, we will draw a line at 70 mm, like this, perpendicular, so that you can get that point. So, that is the um, that is the sphere, uh, that is the, um, this is the centroid of the, uh, this ellipse, okay. We are going to draw an ellipse here, so that ellipse centroid is this one. Now, we will do one thing, we will just, it is measurement, you can see this uh, radius is 27 mm, so we will just draw a line like this from here, and then from here, we will draw a line at 27 mm, at 30 degrees, at 27 mm, 30 degrees, like this. And then you can draw one more line at 27 mm, 30 degrees towards the side. Like this. Now, we have to extend this, both these lines at 27 mm on both sides. So you got that. Now you got two lines like this meeting at this point. Each line is of length. This is 27, this is 27, again 27 and 27. And these lines are at 30 degrees to the reference lines. Now we will do one thing. We will just uh, you have to draw parallel lines through this point, parallel to this one. Okay. Here what we are doing is we are drawing lines parallel to these two lines this this lines through these two points again we have to draw parallel lines through these two points so we got a parallelogram there now we will just connect this you have these two corners are close to each other so we will just draw a line from this meeting point to the opposite line midpoint okay 
we have to draw we have two corners closed corners and these two corners are not closed so we are going to draw uh, lines from this closed corners to the opposite line midpoint from this point to the opposite line midpoint again from here to opposite line midpoints so from here we have one more line uh, one more point here opposite line midpoint and one more line from here to opposite line midpoint okay you got those construction lines then you can erase this unwanted lines all these lines we will make with thin so that these are construction lines so we don't need those lines if you want you can erase otherwise you can just keep it okay just we will just uh, we use thin lines to show that so these are the construction lines okay now now we have to draw a curve passing through this point having a radius of this much like this I will draw one more curve from this point as center and this one as radius. Similar curve. We will draw one more arc like this. This point as center, this point as center, and this one as as radius. That is this point as center, and this one as radius. You draw one more arc like this. Okay. Now we will draw one more curve this point as center and this one as radius that is this point as center and this as radius you draw one more arc got that ellipse now here you have the radius of this sphere is 7 at at um at 40 mm away okay so here we have to mark 40 mm away from here so that point So that is the point okay now that point is center and this point is center okay this here you have this is the point this point is center and this one is radius this one is radius okay uh, like uh, this one is radius you can draw just one arc like this so that you can get the uh, final diagram
So that is the you can erase unwanted lines and these lines you can just make it dotted lines this, this much portion which is coming inside that that is the combination of solids that is over a prestum of you can just see this one also you can erase this is not required this line also not required and this line also not required So that's the combination of uh, combination of solids that is isometric U over a square prism of 100 mm edge and 50 mm height, a prestum of a sphere of radius 40 mm and height 70 mm is resting centrally. This is the isometric projection. So this is isometric view. Now, if you want to draw the isometric projection of this combination, what you have to do is you have to follow the similar method, but everywhere you have to every constant you have to multiply with point h2 isometric constant that is every every dimension you take everything you have to multiply that with point h2 that is isometric constant and you have to complete that diagram In isometric projection, you have to use isometric scale for drawing the diagram. So, whatever dimensions you are taking, everything you have to multiply with isometric constant and then you, you can draw that. You can get the isometric projection of that diagram. You can uh, you can you see the difference between these two and this is isometric projection uh, isometric view now i'll see how to um, do the isometric projection You can see this is isometric projection. Unwanted lines you can erase if you want. So that is isometric projection. This is isometric view and this is isometric projection. Isometric projection you are using isometric scale for drawing the diagram. Method is same. Every dimension you have to multiply with 0.82 that is isometric constant and you have to draw the isometric projection. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. Thank you.